welcome back to my basketball clinic. This is the fifth video in the series, and today we're going to be working on the basic rules of basketball. So there won't be a lot of demonstrating in this video. Let's start with the basic rules of offense. Now, I've said this a lot, but in order to move with the basketball, you must be dribbling. You can't just run with the ball. The period when you first receive the ball off of a pass or a rebound is called a triple threat. That's because you can either shoot, pass, or dribble. So now let's say you start by dribbling. And during that dribbling process, you pick up the ball back into the triple threat position. This time, you only have two threats, passing or shooting. Because if you start dribbling again, it's what is what is called a double dribble, which results in a turnover. A turnover is when the game stop and the other team gets the ball. So make sure to only pick up your dribble when you're certain you can get a shot off or someone's open. Now once you pick up the ball, you are allotted one and a half steps. The half step is used to indicate a step that you jump off of. So make sure to only step with one and a half steps or it's what's called a travel, which results in a turnover. So now I'll be talking about scoring. If you release the ball within the three-point line and it goes in, your team receives two points. If you release the ball outside of the three-point line and it goes in, your team receives three points. There is one more method of scoring, the free throw. In order to explain a free throw, I must explain a foul first. On defense, most fouls occur when it's illegal personal contact with the opponent, such as slapping their hand or pushing them a little too much. If someone follows a player while they are in the motion of a shot, that player is given free throws based on where they were standing. Like points, if they were within the three-point line, they get two shots. Outside the three-point line, three shots. Free throws are unopposed attempts to score points by shooting from behind the free throw line. Each free throw made is one point. On your last free throw attempt, both teams will compete for the rebound if you miss. If it goes in, the opposite team gets an inbound. An inbound is when a team is given the ball out of bounds and have five seconds to pass it to their teammates while remaining in free throws is that if someone fouls a player who is shooting and the shot goes in despite the foul, the player gets the points from where they were standing and one bonus free throw. Now you might and ask, a player fouls a why player should who I just foul every the time? Shot. They're only the player who is fouled they team might miss the inbound. free throws. Well, you can actually get ejected from fouling too much. If you foul five times, you are kicked out of the game. Now, I will explain the technical rules briefly. There are four eight-minute quarters in middle school and high school games. There are two 20-minute halves in college games. There are four 12-minute quarters in NBA games. And there are four 10-minute quarters in WNBA games. Now, if the score is tied at the end of any one of those games, you'll get to what's called overtime, which is a five-minute period to see who comes out on top. If the score is still tied at the end of overtime, you go into double overtime, which is another five minutes, and it keeps on going on like that. I know that was a lot just packed into one video, but I encourage you to watch the video again or turn on a subtitle so you can read it. You can also do your own research on basketball. For this week, you're about five minutes straight with each hand twice a day. Um, do 20 of each pass once per day and practice 20 of your jump shots twice a day. All right, that is all I'm going to cover for today. Make sure to practice and I'll see you next week. Bye.